So uh, today we're going to talk about projects.kex. It's our it's the Pro College of Engineering's Redmine um, content management system. Uh, it, it features an, a wiki and an issue tracking and forums and other stuff like that. Um, so it's, here we are on the main projects.kex webpage. Um, as you can see, there's a little intro section. Um, tells you how to sign in, how to find a project, some tutorials, and um, at the very bottom, it's how to request a project. So we're going to go ahead and follow that link to Internet. Um, on Internet, you can see that you have a projects menu. At this point, you're going to want to click My Projects. If you're a new user, you won't see any projects in here. Um, but if, uh, if you already have some projects, you may see some in here as well. Um, so now you're going to click the Add Project button. And we're going to type in a project name. We're going to call it Demo. We're going to do a description. And we're going to, at this point, you have a choice of between two version control systems. The first one is Git, and the second one is Subversion. Um, or you can choose none, and it won't attach a version control system to your project. Now we click Create. So uh, once it's done, you'll see these green bars here. Um, it will say New Project Added to Redmine, and detailed instructions will be sent to your email address. And you'll also see that Demo Project is now one of the projects uh, under My Projects. If we click on the link, it will give you some information about uh, how to access your repository and the link to your projects. We'll go ahead and click on that. When you go to the project, it will ask you to sign in. So we're going to sign in with our MKEX username and password. And once we're signed in, we can see that we have an empty project. Um, you can see that DemoCat is the manager and that uh, we have an empty wiki and an empty issue tracker. If we go back to the home page, we can see that everything pretty much looks the same as it did before, um, but we have these new buttons on top. You can click on your username to show some information about what projects you're in. Um, you can click on My Account and see some information about uh, your name and email address and what language you want. You can select a different language if you want to. Um, you can also choose how you want email notifications. So choose one of these things from the drop-down box based on your preferences. Um, and if we go back to the drop-down box in the corner here, we'll have all the projects you're currently in. So if you need to quickly switch between projects, you can click on that. So we're going to click on Demo, and it will take us back to our project. And that's about it for this video.